All right, so the inspiration of today's video is my sheer stupidity and ignorance. I mean, 400 videos. I thought I have covered everything that a man would need to be his best self. I thought I have discussed almost everything there is to know for a man to be his most confident self. Yes, I have discussed and talked about a whole lot of things that has got to do with men's lifestyle. But this one, gentlemen, this one is much much needed six good habits to learn and master to be a better man six bad habits you must get rid of to improve your self image and your personal stance so gentlemen my name is mang bhadasarya this is men's essentials let's roll the intro take a look around me taking pages from a magazine Looking for the answer. Okay, so getting right into it. Stupid bad habit number one. Not keeping your mouth shut when you're trying to eat something meh or yum yum. I mean, tell me. Tell me how does this look? Tell me how does this sound? Sexy? Attractive? Hot? I guess not. I mean, come on now, the agents. Don't shit me on this one. This is something absolutely disgusting. I mean, you have been dressing well, you have been working out, making your physique and doing everything right, learning social etiquettes and whatnot, and you eat like a maniac. What the fuck is wrong with you? Please, please don't do all these stupid, annoying mistakes to jeopardize your masculine style and your amazing personality. It hurts the eye, it hurts the ear, and it hurts your image and style. I don't want anything to hurt your image and style, gentlemen. Please don't do this. Please fix it right now. Stupid men's habit tip number two, shut up and listen. I mean, I don't know what makes you think like you're this man who knows it all. I don't know what makes you believe that you are this man who is in charge of all. Because trust me, you're not. And the only way you become the man who is in charge of something or you become the man who is a leader is when you shut up and listen. Because here's the thing with listening, gentlemen. The more you listen, the more you understand, the better you understand your audience, your customers and their problems. The better you understand and master your brain and more considerate you get. Now, as far as I remember, there is nothing wrong in being kind and considerate. So, zip this and open these up. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Moving on, men's good habit tip number three, open the door or hold it like so. If you see someone around, coming by, coming free. Now, this does not mean that the special someone needs to be a girl or your date. You don't need to show off your pseudo masculinity here. Gentlemen, you aren't doing this to make a killer first impression on your supposed future girlfriend. You are doing this because you are a good human being. You are doing this because this shows off your humanity and your kind, considerate and your empathetic nature, your chivalrous gentleman nature. So the next time you're opening a door in public, be it gym, library, restaurant or cafe, doesn't matter if it's a girl or not, doesn't matter if it's your date or not, do it for anyone or everyone around. It could be a guy, it could be a friend, it could be a father, brother, whosoever it is. Just do it and come back and tell me how do you feel about it. Trust me, you'll be surprised. You'll feel very good about it. And speaking of habits, the mighty men's good habit number four, picking up luggage for your friend, family or the girlfriend next door. I mean, what's the point of bloody deadlifts and squats if you can't afford to pick up someone's luggage or grocery when in need? Now I get it, doing it to strangers can put you in jail, but hey, do it to people you know, do it with people you at least know. Do it with your friends, family or girlfriend around because trust me, this modern chivalry is something that we don't see or we miss in the modern men and can't be found. I mean, if you want to plant this subconscious seed of amazing alpha gen, then all these little things are the only thing you need to do. Okay, I shouldn't be singing, but you get the point here. You know what I mean. Stupid bad habit number five, having a stinky smell or smelling like an absolute dog shit all the time. Yes, it is offensive. Yes, it annoys people. Three specific scents that annoys me the most are bad breath, bad body odor, alcohol, and cigarettes. I mean, I cannot stand them. I just cannot talk to those people ever. I mean, I kid you not when I tell you this gentleman, foul body odor can literally piss people off. It can induce headache, nausea, and can cause some severe irritation without you doing anything extraordinary or wrong. So please take care of your scent and your smell, hydrate yourself, take a nice bath, a nice shower, apply some cologne whenever you are going out of the door next time. But lastly, the stupidest and the dumbest bad habit number six, just being an overall I mean, come on now. Come on now, what's the need? What's the point here? Your insecurities, your hatred, just keep it to yourself. I mean, if you can't be fine with your own problems, then you don't need to be a dick and you don't need to spread negativity and piss people off. Just don't be that guy. Stop being passive aggressive, stop being rude and stop being a dick 
in general. Stop hurting people because of your incapabilities and stop spreading negativity because it makes you look like a fool. Be proud but be grounded and be the hardest working individual in the room. Six habits, good and bad. Pick them, fix them and change them to be a better man. Gentlemen, that's where I'll end this video. That's where I'll conclude this video. In case you liked it, don't forget to let me know in the comment section box down below. Don't forget to check out all the other videos on the channel. I'll get back to work. I'll make more of these videos. You don't forget to dress up, stay strong and stay stylish. My name is Mangur Sada. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Cheers. What is this? What is this? What is this?